Hey everyone and welcome to this week's weekly option watch list. Hopefully you all had a wonderful weekend and are looking forward to getting back to trading. Going to make this a quick watch list. I have a pretty busy evening so I want to get this done with. But let's get into a overview of the ES to kind of see where we can potentially see this market go the upcoming week. So if we zoom in here, we can see we had this nice short squeeze pop to get rejected at this plus two. And now recently all we've been doing is strong, strong selling off with very large candles with very large intraday swings. This market is quite volatile at the moment and it is a little harder to swing trade with these um, large volatility. But that being said, there are still some good setups. Um, if we look at ES here, the th main thing that I am watching for this upcoming week is this key candle wick right down here at around 4100 on ES. If this level breaks, um, all hell could t potentially break loose. This is like our last support line in the sand here until we get back to around, what is this way back here, about another 50 points below is maybe another support down there. but it then could make a quite substantial drop if this level does not hold. Also, um, we can watch this candle's wick down here. This is a level it has hold as well. So an ideal situation coming into this week is that we do bounce off of this, making a reversion back up to the mean. And if we do that, I do think that is going to be a great place to add some short exposure, um, whether that just be on the SPY itself or an individual stock but I do think that a nice reversion is due for this market at this time we do still have the strong bearish momentum on the squeeze here tried to kind of get out of it on Thursday with this nice push up higher but then once again on Friday we just rolled over very strongly to the downside so it went right back into that bearish momentum we do still have negatively stacked DMAs and we're in a deceleration stage so everything about the ES is still very bearish. And then if we come to a weekly time frame, we can also see that um, once again its structure is still very bearish. We're in this low compression squeeze that is still looking to fire to that downside. And as I said before, if we do break below this, these supports that we've had here, we can look for support at the minus 2 ATR or even more realistically this minus 3 ATR because this squeeze will then be firing to the downside and I think it could give it strong selling pressure down into this minus 3 ATR before we could potentially see that bounce. So that's kind of what I'm watching on the ES for this upcoming week. And now we'll get into the actual plays I'm looking at. So we'll start off here with lows. And this trade will be to the downside. So we have negatively stacked DMAs. We're in a deceleration stage as well. If we look at its structure here, we can see it's in a nice downtrend. Every time it kind of reverts back up to the 21, it gets rejected, reverts, rejected, reverts, and it already looks to be rejecting here once again. We are in a high compression squeeze, so when this stock does decide to make a move either to the upside or the downside, it will be quite substantial. And with its structure, I do think it's going to go to the downside. So ideally, come Monday or Tuesday, I would like to see a bounce back up to either the 8 EMA or ideally the 21 EMA for an entry. And hopefully from there, we could see it then roll back over to the downside, retesting the minus 2 or the minus 3 ATR. Next play I'm looking at is McDonald's, and this one's actually to the upside. I have a few stocks that I am looking at to the upside just due to the fact that I think we are going to have a reversion to the mean sooner than later, and I want to catch that move back to the upside with some stocks that are showing some good bullish structure. And McDonald's here is one of them. So we can see we have started to create this new kind of uptrend. We don't have positively stacked DMAs, but we are in an acceleration stage, which is good to see. We can see that we have a daily squeeze that is setting up. We have our histogram below that zero line, which so we have the bearish momentum. But if that can start to move back to the upside, I think this squeeze could easily fire to the upside just due to the overall structure on McDonald's here. So if we zoom in a little more, 
we can see that it's been holding right around that 21 EMA, kind of pinging back and forth between this plus one and minus one ATR. And I'm just going to keep watching the squeeze to see if this momentum continues to the downside, then it should fire to the downside, or if we can get that momentum to come back to the upside. I do think McDonald's is a solid play that will um, make another move higher. Next one here is Pepsi. Similar story here to McDonald's, other than we have positively stacked DMAs, which is what I like to see. If we zoom in here a little bit more, our histogram is above that zero, which is nice. We had a nice push up into plus two, and then on Friday with the rest of the market, obviously, we had this large sell-off, but the sell-off just brought us right back down to the 21. So I'm looking for this one earlier in the week. If we can have some more price action around this 21, I will take an entry to the upside looking for another push um, up to plus 2 ATR. PPG is the next one here to the downside. We can see after this large, large fall, we've kind of reverted back up to the mean, and all we've done is kind of just pinged back and forth, pinged back and forth as this squeeze has developed. Um, Negatively stacked DMAs, our price action is holding below the 21, and it's also holding below this 50 simple moving average. Our histogram is below that zero line with bearish momentum. So similar to lows, if we can get just another quick pop up to the 8 or 21 EMA, that looks like it would be a good entry um, for the short side here on PPG, which I do think it could potentially retest um, these previous low range here on PPG. And then last but not least here we have XL Energy to the upside. So we have positively stacked DMAs. We're in an acceleration stage and we have a squeeze that is setting up here. Our histogram is above that zero line. Ideally want to see some of these lighter blue bars meaning that we have good strong bullish momentum and want to see a, another close above the 21 EMA. As on Friday we did close below it but overall its structure does look very solid and very bullish in my opinion. So these are the stocks I'm looking at for the upcoming week. Hopefully that gives you all a few other things to add to your own watch list and potentially a few plays you could jump in this week um, as well. So let's go out there on Monday and start making some money everybody.